Hello. Hello. was just setting up some treats next to your chair in case you got hungry while you were watching everyone thank you I have noticed a lot of activity down there mm -hmm. yes apparently uh, they were attacked by some corrupted beasts this afternoon so it has begun Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Oh yes, I was asleep. Good. There are a few people injured, but I don't believe it to be too serious. So I guess they were very lucky. There will be many further trials. I hope your people are ready. Hmm. Hopefully. I guess we'll see. Mm -hmm. Then what about you? What about me? Am I ready? <laughs> no, that wasn't my question. Oh. I was merely asking how are you doing? Oh. I am doing okay. Was your prophecy correct? You suspected that no one would notice that your scar was healed. Yes. I was correct. I had to point it out. <laughs> your visions but... are even more powerful than I expected. Well, as Toki said, though, that... Uh... At least I know that people weren't just looking at my scar when they looked at my face. Indeed. There is much more of you than just a face. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And what about Magnus? Did he notice? Or how is he? <laughs> Both. He uh, is concerned. And yes, he did notice. He is concerned about the price. Mm -hmm. What he did you tell He doesn't think him? that well, he doesn't think that I should take anything from you. And I said that it was to repay what I had done already, not as a favor for something else in the future. He didn't believe you. Of course not. Would you believe him? If he was in a similar position. I would try to. I would have my doubts. <laughs> so. 
So always easy to doubt someone when you're not going through the situation yourself. Indeed. But this path is different. Mm -hmm. Everyone still assumes that, uh, you only want me for one thing. <laughs> and what do you think? I don't think that's true. If it was true, you would have already been mine. Mm hmm You know what the true power is, Gida? Mm. True power is when things happen without you even laying a single finger. When you influence others to do what you want to be done, when everything goes according to plan, I'm not sure I have that kind of influence over people. <laughs> As I told you before, you are a seer. You can see the future. In many ways, you're even more powerful than I am. Oh, I don't know about that. I can see many things. I do have a vision, but my vision isn't always guaranteed. I see. And I have plans, I have schemes, expectations, but I cannot see what the future holds. I can influence the probability, but in the end, I am not all-knowing like the old father. Mm -hmm. Do you wish you were? No, I do not need to. I have you. I see. The thing about plants, Gida. If you know the result already, then there is no point. You this would stop me before I even enact my vision. You hold the power. Tell me, should I fear you? Would you ever betray me? I don't believe I would. Then you have your answer. 
I would never lay a finger on you without you asking me to do so. Which is what I already thought anyway. <laughs> Harder to convince others of that, but I suppose they can believe what they like. It's not up to me to change their mind. Indeed. As I told you before, those who truly care will believe you no matter what. They will judge you by your character, not by your actions. They are not walking your path. You are. Only you can see the full picture. None of the other is here have even seen my form, apart from the Yarrow. And for that one, well, it was necessary, for I do have my plans with him. Did you ask him to protect me at all costs? I did. Hmm. He told me that today. Why? I brought enough chaos into your life. You deserve a bit of stability. A bit of comfort in these trying times. Hmm. He will keep you safe. I have something he wants. And he would stop at nothing, getting it. Mm. And he can Amazing. protect what is most important to me. I believe he could, uh... Protect me, yes. I already told you. You will come to no harm as long as I'm here. Hmm. Your friends can think whatever they want. In the end, they will see the truth with their own eyes. I'll make sure of it. Hmm. I hope so. Just for their sake. <laughs> They're not important. <laughs> Small pieces in the game. Expendable. Start starting to learn that. Why do you think you're even here? Why I'm here? You and this expedition. Why here? Why come out? I'm not really sure why I come a lot, but... You followed your leader. Why did he bring you here? Mm, yes. They believe that this is what Odin wanted for them, and us. Exactly. But why? That I'm not sure of just yet. Don't you find it a bit unfair? Yes. He is using you. But what does he have to gain if we all die? <laughs> Fighting his battle. Wow. 
What do you gain from watching two beasts fight to their death for your enjoyment? Hmm. Entertainment, I suppose. Amongst other things. But yes. They don't believe in him, though. He's not their god. Why would he want to see them uh, kill his own people? That is a good question. That you should ask him. <laughs> I've been avoiding talking to him. Good. But I don't asking me questions that I don't want to answer. <laughs> you are smart, Gida. You should never ask the old father such a thing. He would smite <laughs> you down. But you can influence others to be sacrilegious, to ask these questions. Mm. Those that doubt you, those that ridicule you. That is the kind of power I told you about. I see. You can take care of them without spilling any blood. It is simple and effective. And in the end, it will provide them with a valuable lesson. A lesson they will never forget. I have tried asking these questions. And everybody just says, because Odin told us to. <laughs> and if we lose, we'll go to Valhalla. That's, that's their answer. Whenever I say anything about why we are fighting this war. Blind, obedient faith. Mm -hmm. It's quite hard to break. That it is. But it's not impossible. Those who are blind can still see the truth, and you can show them your visions. They are the key. Yeah, yes, I can try. One way or another, this war is going to end. And when it does, there will be nothing but destruction. Yes. I feel like it's us that are going to end up either dying or leaving. No one else seems to see it that way. <laughs> Yet, their main concern is you having babies. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Quite ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was told today that If I felt like I was in danger from you, that I could tell certain people and they would take me to Odin's shrine and 
pray to Odin for me that he could save me from you. They're not wrong. <laughs> but why would I want that? You never know. One day, you might get sick of me. Hmm. I guess that depends on your plans. <clears throat> oh. My plans are simple. And I believe that no matter what comes next, You will at least see why I'm acting the way I am. Hmm. Your ability to see past this blind faith is why I chose you. You may hold the key to my destruction, but you are also my only hope of teaching these people a lesson. I am trying. They are very stubborn. The corruption is going to get worse, isn't it? Yes. The corruption is merely a symptom of things to come. It is not the main cause. I see. Fight the cause. And you will rid this world of corruption. Find the cause. Hmm. Your presence here is not a coincidence. Keep your eyes peeled. Ask questions. Investigate. You will find the answers you seek. I see. Seems like these gorillas are attracted. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe By they the just flowers. want to follow. Maybe so. But uh, they're a bit too brutish for my own taste. <laughs> I see. I prefer a bit of a nuanced display of power. Like the one you wield. Oh. Hmm. 
still trying to be able to feel that power. I want to thank you for the little statue you put in my house. I told you. I'll be watching over you. Mm -hmm. If Magnus ever tries something, the statue will be there to protect you. Mm. I don't think he's uh, even noticed it yet, so... <laughs> Of course not. Mm -hmm. But I believe he will be moving on to the new village soon. And will you follow him? I haven't decided. What does your heart say? Well, my heart says I should stay here. This village is going to be for people to visit and people to come through. We're to be very hospitable and welcoming. I feel like I'm better suited to be here than the other village, which is more just a for, garrison. Uh, yeah, for training and fighting and whatnot. I don't see my place there. I agree. I do feel like I need a home away from everybody, though. Somewhere I can concentrate on what I need to. <laughs> I am not sure where, and I don't know if the Isles are going to like that. They don't need to know. You don't think I should tell them? You are a seer. You follow where the visions are. Hmm. They may order you around, but in the end, They need you more than you need them. You tell them what must be done. And if they do not respect it, they are ignoring the future. And it will be their downfall. I didn't think of it that way. Find a place where you can concentrate. Where you can channel your powers. I 
wrong. And if someone raises any complaints, then tell them that the alternative is you moving to Loki's bedroom. I will personally create a portal for you, so that you can come and go whenever you please. Hmm. I see. Sometimes, a simple threat is all that needs to be done. I... I'm gonna have to get better at that. I'm not very threatening. Show me. Show you how threatening I can be? Yes. Uh... Yes. Uh, what should I say? You're supposed to threaten him. You're not supposed to ask me for an advice. I... I don't know what to threaten him with. When you want to threaten someone, you need to figure out their strengths and then their weaknesses. Assess them and use them to your advantage. Whatever they hold for granted, show them. That he can lose it all. And you have the power of depriving him them of it. Hmm. I see. Well. Hmm. He is. A master of coin. What could he possibly need? Coins? I don't think I'm very good at this. Listen here, little man. If you don't get if you don't get out of my shrine, I will shove that coin pouch so far up your ass. You will shit coins for days. Oh. See, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. I don't feel like I could ever say something like that to anybody. Some people respond to strength. Others respond to more nuanced approach. That is what you need to figure out whenever you're raising a threat. Some people will care about you. So much more than they will care about their own life. So, you need to give them a threat. Show them that you mean business and that you are not afraid of 
sacrificing your own well-being to achieve your goals that you will stop at nothing. I see. I had Halana and Stan try to teach me how to sound meaner the other day. I did a terrible job. Show me. I cannot say to you what they wanted me to say. Go on. I can take it. <laughs> no, definitely not. Do you really want me to say please? <laughs> mm -mm. I don't want to do it. Please don't make me. Oh. I don't want to say it to you. They told me to say some nasty things, and I'm not a very nasty person. Very well. Maybe next time. Maybe I'll practice. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you what I practice next time. Either. Yes. All I want for you is to unlock whatever is already there. I don't want you to become someone else, someone you are not. Mm -hmm. I want to make you stronger. I don't want to turn you into something different. Mm. I feel like you'd be the only one. Everyone else wants me to be different. That's because they don't understand the kind of power that you have. They are blind to it. Mm -hmm. You must not let them. I... I stood up to house time yesterday. The he... one that threatened you with violence. <sighs> yes. He was upset with me because I was nice to the thrall. I refuse to be rude to someone just because they're a thrall. If they're doing their work and doing it right, why should I be rude to them? Makes no sense to me. And the thrall made a joke about my shirt and told me that I should cover up more as a joke. And I did it. And he said that because I took an order from a thrall that I should be a thrall now. And kept calling me a thrall. Your kindness was punished and ridiculed. Yes. How did it make you feel? I'm disappointed. I was trying to prove a point to them all. And they all missed the point completely. <laughs> he is already a thrall who does everybody's work for them and 
gets told what to do all day, every day. Why? Why must he take out rudeness to, to make us feel better? I don't understand. Such is the way of your people. Mm. The ways that need to be changed. Not all traditions are worth following. Some of them can be the downfall of the civilization. But Indeed. that is not for you to decide or change. No. Some don't deserve to be saved. Mm -hmm. They need to pay. For their ignorance, this stroll will end up as his masters. He will not learn anything. He will become the same as them. And these yes. masters of yours who dare to give you orders, who dare to ridicule you, for doing what you believe is right, for showing them confidence to stand up against them, to fight for what you believe is right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they wanted me to hurt him just to prove their point. And did you? No. I refused. Good. Do not worry, Gida. Your time will come. But for now, you need to be careful where you apply your influence. Some are too far gone. They will never listen. Their mind is frail, singular, narrow. They only focus on one thing, getting to Valhalla. Yes. They think they know how to get there. And they will stop at nothing. They would even sacrifice their own kind to achieve that. You need to, you need to be smart, Kida. You need to rely on what they don't have. Don't reason with them. They only respond to power, not to reason. I see. This troll didn't deserve your help. He was obviously as dumb as a rock. <laughs> However, if there was someone with potential, then you need to help them without others knowing. Oh. Everyone in this village Would not hesitate to stop you in the bank just so they can strengthen their position. There are very few who you could trust, but even those 
would not hold your secret safe. This is true. You must be careful who you believe, mm -hmm. what you share, and who you help. I will. You will always be safe here, Gida. If things ever go wrong, I'll come for you. I will do my best to keep safe. I know you will. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to find a new seer. <laughs> That'll be most unfortunate. Mm. That would be very unfortunate. Certainly wouldn't be the same. <laughs> yes. Well, there is no one quite like me, I suppose. Indeed. I'm sure many would think I was replaceable, though. <laughs> That's because they cannot see the true you. What lies within. Deep inside. I don't typically show people the true me. But you showed me. Yes. I must be very special to you. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why, I feel like I can trust you. Might be silly of me, but it's just how I feel. <laughs> I think I can trust you too. I am a lot of things, but I am definitely honest. I don't like to lie to people if I don't have to. The best kind of lie is always wrapped in a nice, firm shell of truth. I'll keep that in mind. Good. <laughs> I like it up here best at night time. Is indeed beautiful. Whoever built this shrine 
deserves a reward. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you already gave them a reward. That I did. But was it good enough? Only time will tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, here comes the gorilla again. He wants your flower. Oh, you cannot have those. <laughs> They're mine. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have to give him some as well. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, no flowers for the girl. Understood. <laughs> I do not share, Gita. I already told you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, you did. I have one question for you. Ask, and I will answer. Mm -hmm. It's a very important question. What is... Uh, what is your favorite color? <laughs> <sighs> Is that really the question you wanted to ask me? Yes. I am partial to green. Oh. Green and gold. And a bit of red. I see. I was just curious. Why so? Mm. What are you planning? Oh, nothing. Gida. <laughs> just when I bring you things, they could be uh, in your favorite color. You do not need to show me the gifts. As long as you bring yourself, that's all that I need. Mm. I see. I would still like to, though. Then you may do so. <laughs> I have a question for you, too. Oh. Why do you think I kissed you? Uh, I am not sure. Think. I just assumed it was because you wanted to. <laughs> or that you wanted to show me your intentions. Do you only see me as a man who could not help himself but to kiss a pretty lady? That's not all I see you as, no. Then why do you think I did it? Uh, well, I'm not sure. Why did you do it? I wanted to see you. 
how you would react. I wanted to see if you would tell Magnus. And did I tell him? You didn't? No. Why? I... He already... feels like... He's losing you. Yes. And... I don't feel like that's information that he needs to know. <laughs> Do you know why he's losing you? It is because not because of me. No. You are loyal and dedicated. You would stick with him through thick and thin. Even if he mistreated you. Even if he did not deserve you. That is why I kissed you. Because you deserve me. what my sister said. Your sister deserves more too. Yet, she does not know. She's as blind as you. Yet, she thinks she can help you. It's always so much easier to solve other people's problems instead of dealing with your own. Yes, it is. This is why you make things so hard for me. <laughs> yes. You make me think about myself. Yes. I... I don't think I've ever thought about myself my whole life. I've always done what others have asked of me. But those days are gone. It's time to open your eyes, Kida. And to open your heart and realize that others have to deserve you. They need to prove themselves to you, not the other way around. You are precious and so very important. Still learning that one. Until you start valuing your own self, you cannot expect others to truly love you. Mm, I see.
Thank you.